All right, so now we begin day three. Going back to Dad's house after passing our test. Feeling good. Saved a kid from a tower. Feeling great. All right, let's go. Oh. <laughs> uh, man, that's the second time I've done that. <laughs> At least this time it wasn't during a cutscene. If you remember that. <clears throat> Damn, this game is loud. I hope it doesn't capture my, uh, it probably will. All right, let's go see Dad. Is he here? Oh, hello. Welcome, Dad. We finished reporting to the guild like you told us to. Good work, kids. The details of the report will be reviewed at each branch and will affect your pay and rank advancement in the future. Please make sure that you always remember to do it. Don't worry, we will. And before I forget, I got that copy of Liberal News you wanted. There was this letter for you at the guild, too. Hand it over the letter. A letter, hmm? Well, I'm gonna clean up and start dinner. Oh, and Dad? Uh, thanks for coming when you did today. You really helped. I see you're being rather gracious today. Papa is happy. That's a weird way to word that. How delightful that my daughter has finally understood what a great and manner father truly is. There's no need to hold back, Estelle. Come and jump into your father's loving arms. In your dreams, I swear the men in this house have one thing in common. They never know when to shut up. I guess she's not as depressed as I thought she'd be. Should I be thanking you, Joshua? I didn't do much, I just gave her a push in the right direction. Estelle's a resilient girl to begin with. Yes, she is, but she still has a long way to go. She'll run into more than a few stumbling blocks in this line of work, and overcoming those obstacles is what will teach her to stand on her own two feet. <laughs> There's that soft side of you talking again. Oh no, the eggs are supposed to explode like that! I guess I shouldn't have gone and expected to make a perfect meal in a single try. No, wait! Cookie's supposed to be about passion! Exploding into passionate eggs! No. What's more? And that daughter of mine could then be a little too passionate. I think I'll go help her with dinner. We don't want curtains to catch fire again. But at this rate, there's no telling what we could expect to have a bite of food ready on the dinner table. Haha! <laughs> Alright then, let's see what this letter is. All right. Hmm, a message from the Erebonian Empire. Ellipses. Whoa! Wow, this is a surprise. I'm not dead yet. This new dish is what I call Estelle's Explosion over rice. Be sure to savor every last morsel. I will. Your cooking this evening is excellent. My compliments to the chef. <laughs> this is raw talent at its best. Today will certainly be a busy but great day nonetheless. We qualified as junior bracers and had our first real assignment, and I didn't even lose my eyebrows making dinner this time. Not to mention the food being delicious. For your first attempt, this dish is actually quite edible. At first, I thought I might have to pitch it out the window when you weren't looking. But it seems that technique won't be necessary tonight, unlike other nights. Sometimes you're just so... Desplicably rude, Dad. Don't you know how to be humble and just say something tastes nice? Alright then, how about this? Boy, I never thought I'd be able to eat something so wonderful like this before I had to leave our business. You made a splendid meal, Estelle. Thanks, Dad! <laughs> Wait, business? Are you really leaving again? Yes. Something unexpected came up this time. I'm going to be away for a while. Hold on a minute. You're leaving when? Tomorrow morning. What? I don't, I don't care what kind of job you're doing. That's just too soon. It's a, that letter, isn't it? Was there some sort of incident? Oh, it's nothing like that. Just a simple investigation. I'll have to visit a number of places. It'll take me about a solid month before I'm through. That being the case, please take good care of the house while I'm gone. What do you mean? That being the case? You always use some kind of vague excuse like that and take off and no one knows how long. 
We just have to accept it, Estelle. A bracer's job is to help those who come to us for help. I know, I know, but what are you going to do about all the, your jobs here at Roland Branch? You've already accepted a few of them, haven't you? Oh, only about five or six hours, so I was thinking, and uh, how about the both of you handle them for me instead? What? You mean like clean up after you? Are you really access to the work you're supposed to be doing? That I am. <clears throat> I'll have you do the ones which I think you can accomplish, and I'll ask you are to handle the difficult ones. So what do you say? I can say no. <laughs> I'd like to, but when I think about how I messed up- Oh, that's- I didn't want to go to the depressed route. Is it really okay to leave these jobs in the hands of <laughs> new recruits? Comparatively speaking, none of our uh, the other jobs are that difficult. But there are a few in which you would be entrusted with someone's life. I'm not going to force you to do anything. However, I would like to you to sit down and think about it. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think, Joshua? I agree with Dad on this one. Besides, I think it would be a great experience for both of us. I know his junior bracers were only like half a bracer each. But there are two of us, and two halves make a whole, right? Are we gonna bang? Don't you think? Don't, <laughs> don't you think we can manage these jobs as long as we're sure to back each other up? Man, I am messing up, tripping over the words. Two halves make a whole, huh? I think you're right, Joshua. Dad will do them for you. In fact, I'm really excited to do them right now. Then it's settled. I'll stop by the guild and let Aina know about the change of plan before I leave. By the way, Dad, which flight will you be on tomorrow? The one headed for Grenzel or the one headed for Bose? I'll be on the one headed for Grenzel. My flight departs at 10 o'clock in the morning. That means I'll have to get up a little earlier tomorrow. I'd better set my alarm clock just in case. I mean, that dyslexia's kicking in like a motherfucker. Oh, the night time. Oh, the indescript bottles next to me. Dad? Are you still awake, Joshua? You'd better hold off on the liquor, or Estelle will get mad again. This is just my way of lifting my spirits before I travel. How about you? Would you like to join me for a drink? I'll pass. Actually, I should be saying here is don't offer alcohol to minors. I'm not like Shara, who would jump at any chance to enjoy a drink or ten. Ha <laughs> That's because she holds her liquor much better than I do. Ellipses. There's something really serious happening, isn't there? There's no conclusive evidence, but there appears to be some sort of movement within the Empire. The Erebonian Empire? That sounds pretty suspicious. This movement doesn't appear to be overt, but that's what has me worried. I intend to do a little probing at the Arabian Embassy to see what turns up. Understood. I'll make sure to look after Estelle while you're gone. Don't spoil that girl, you hear me? Now that she's become a bracer, she needs to look after herself. Estelle will be fine. She's got good instincts, and despite being a bit rough around the edges, she has talent with the staff as well. There's no doubt in my mind she'll be a first-class bracer someday. Yet at present, she's like a baby. In arms who know nothing about the realities of the world around her. At some point in time, she'll have to choose which path to follow in life. And Joshua, the same thing can be said about you. Ellipses. It's already been five years since you became part of this family, isn't it? How time does fly. Yes. It sure does seem that way. About what you said back then, are you sure you won't reconsider taking those words back? Ellipses. For me, keeping my word is what defines who I am. If I can't do something as simple as that, I don't know how I could live with myself. I know this may sound stubborn, but I can't take back what I said. I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize. But I'd like you to remember this. No matter what path you choose in life, you can't erase the past five years. Estelle and I will always be your family. No matter what may befall you. Ellipses. Thanks, Dad. Oh, I finished the prologue. <laughs> it took three episodes. Woohoo, boy.
Well, it looks like my time to board. It's time for me to board my flight. Estelle, don't do anything I wouldn't do myself, and try not to be handful for Joshua either. For the umpteenth time, I hurt you already. How about you try and not go over with yourself with your own work? You're not getting any younger, you know? Say what you will, but I'm not about to be overtaken by any youngsters. She says, so sorry, Zard. I'm really worried about placing all this work on your shoulders this is the last time. Please, <clears throat> don't be. <laughs> I'm slightly concerned, however, about whether or not I can do a decent job in your place. There's no need to be humble, Silver Streak. And I don't mean to make your life more difficult, but please keep an eye on these two. You just leave that to me. Is tightening up the reins not spoiling these two fine with you? I definitely read that wrong. You definitely understand the way I think. What's this all about? Haha, <laughs> looks to me like a mutual understanding between master and pupil. Uh, the Grantsel bound airliner, Lind, will be departing soon. Or Linde. All passengers, please board the airship now. Oh, I should have been doing like a pilot voice. <clears throat> uh, all passengers, please um, board the airship now. Uh, passengers, please board the airship now. <clears throat> uh oh, I'd better take my seat. Have a great trip, Dad. We'll take care of everything here while you're gone. I'm not sure where you'll be going, but don't forget to bring me a silver there. Nice little fancy stuff that will be nice. Hey, now, this trip is for business, not pleasure. If I have any money left over, I'll certainly think about it. All right, you two, be good while I'm gone. That's pretty fucking sweet. Got a little dragon on the front. He's gone again. Yeah. Come on, you two. There's no need to look so down. Your father will be back in no time. I don't know what kind of investigation he's asked you to do this time, but when it comes to your father, he'll have done it before you know it. I'm not sad he's gone. He's always been way more than he's been home. All right, all right, if you say so. Anyway, I'm not. I'm going to get to work on these jobs your father left for me. But if you run into any trouble, give me a holler. Will do, but first... I'd like to try and finish a few jobs with Joshua. I want to see what we're capable of doing as junior embracers, yeah? Hmm, uh, if you insist. I imagine with Joshua taking along, there's probably not much to be worried about. Good luck, you two. Thanks! We'll do our best. So what do you want to do now, Estelle? Shall we go by the guild? Yeah, we should probably talk to Ano. And find out what jobs are waiting for us. Let's go! Yeah, there we go. Uh, the answer to the traffic control tower. Look, this is where they control the lightning devices and lighting devices and the boarding bridge. <laughs> the lightning devices. Hey, it'd be a good way to power it. As long as there's inclement weather. Yo, I don't. So you think he's going to get through that rope one day? Woo, this job here is done. The wind sure is calm today. A perfect day for travel, if you ask me. All right. I didn't. But, you know, good enough. Good enough. Roll in landing port. All right. Dangerous combustible objects prohibited. Maybe you shouldn't bring combustible objects anyway. Just a thought. Yo, father was on that airline and left, right? Is he off the business again? That guy is seriously one busy man. All the airship guys are obviously southern. It's just how it works out. Whoa, is there like secrets back here? My, uh, there we go. Yeah. Secrets, 
Secrets? No, no secrets. All right. I was hoping for loot. Oh, I'm stuck. How do I get out of here? There we go. Thought I was going to be stuck forever. What's this? It looks like the only the employees are allowed. When I'm told I can't go in, I want to go in even more. All right. What's that? Malaga Trail. Oh, it's just directions. Okay. So I guess I'll go to the guild, see what they got for me. <clears throat> oh, good morning, Estelle and Joshua. Has your father already left? Yep, just barely. That's why we're here to find out about the jobs you left for us. Sure. There are a total of three jobs I have lined up for you. The first one, I'd like you to head out to the farm west of here. The farm west of here? Is that where Tio lives? Uh, Tio, I seem to have heard that name somewhere before. Tio Purzel, he's one of our classmates at Sunday School. She's also at the Purzel Farm's owner's daughter. Oh, oh, really? It's actually the Purzel Farm that put in the request to have someone exterminate some monsters. Are they having problems like that? Fortunately, nobody's been hurt, but the owner and his family are upset over their fields being destroyed by the creatures. Therefore, the guild received an extermination request. I never would have expected something like that to happen. Okay, let's head out there right now. Uh, take this with you. Guild referral. This document certifies that you were dispatched by the guild. Please give it to the owner of the farm. We already know Tia's father pretty well, so I don't think this is necessary, but we'll take it just in case. All right, so we're going west. I've already looked for loot, so I imagine there won't be new, but I should go by the bar, right? And see if there's any new recipes. Oh, I just passed it. Hello. Unbelievable. I came all the way here just to find that I wasted all this time for nothing. Can't find any buyers in the shops are bigger than cheapsakes than I thought they'd be. I guess it's safe to say backwater places will always be backwater places. This lady's really making me angry. Huh, and who are you supposed to be? Then again, I really don't care who you are. I give you a deal. So how about you buy something? What? You buy one of these wood carvings? They work for you? You won't find fine workmanship like this outside of Cav Calvard Republic. Calvard? Cal Calvard? Fucking double consonants. Calvard sounds familiar. Is that some famous store or something? Calvard Republic is the country to the east of Liberal Kingdom. I knew that. So Calvard folk, Calvard made folk craft items are what you're selling, huh? I'm pretty sure you'll find a lot of people willing to take them off your hands if you went to Royal City. You think so? I really thought some place in the boonies like this would take on these, but maybe I was wrong. Oh well, I guess I'll just try heading to Gransel sooner than later. Then again, what's my son Charles up to? Just when I thought I could get some help out with him, he ups and wanders off. Is that like a hint to me? Like, are you gonna sell me? Oh, I guess I got to. Uh, um, he's got away on business. We'll be back for him. Is that so? Oh man, I can't keep doing that. Uh, <clears throat> Cassis is the one who, who I was most focused on. That's too bad. Claire. I think even if Cass is dressed in normal attire, he'd still shine as an adult male. By changing his style, he'd express himself as a characteristic boo, aside from the typical Joe. There's no doubt he'd be popular with a whole new level, too. Um, Claire, how are you again? Haha, <laughs> she's a precocious one, isn't she? So, looking for you? No. Oh, that's why. He <laughs> got stuck on me. Um, okay, so I'm looking for a kid, I guess. You, she's she's asleep with the dog. Up. Oh, mm, ah.
Hmm. Oh well, guess I'm headed this way. Maybe the sun will pop up here. Who knows? Anything with grass? Whoa! It attacked me! It's gonna get an ambush. Fuck me! Oh, it's just one? A little tougher, alright. Um, yeah, just attack it. This might finish it off. Yeah. That's that then. Let's move out. Yay, Chico. Let's move out. Turn around, motherfucker. Ah! Da da. Monsters appear. Fucking tricked me. Oh my god, that's a lot of them. That is a shit ton of them. All right, I'm gonna have to actually like give a shit this time around. All right, I'm gonna give it to him. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh fuck me. Oh, it's not dead. Who's going next? I didn't kill him? Holy shit. Oh shit, I messed up. I messed up really bad. I should have healed him. Oh boy. Oh, we'll see how this works out. Dude, there's no way I could have won this. What? Okay, so, uh, it's been, I think, I didn't check the video, but I think like seven months since I started this video, so there's gonna be a little split here, uh, where the first half that I had recorded, uh, along that time, and then now I'm gonna start, uh, again, now, uh, long break, it was just supposed to be, while well, like I Captain WoW, the new expansion, Legion, that was how long ago that was. Uh, but you know, things, things, other things happened. But I'm back now. We're gonna, gonna, we're gonna do this. It's gonna be, it's gonna be great. Uh, I will totally remember how to fight and stuff. It'll totally be fine. Let's go. Uh, a little attack. Oh, we have ranges. Okay. That knocked him back. But we're good. We're good. Easier time. Let's move out. I 
I forgot that Ichigo was the voice actor. All right, all right, but this is gonna be this is gonna be great. Purzel Farm. I wonder where that is. Whoa. Uh-oh. Uh oh this fight's dangerous. Alright, at least he missed. And we have crit. Alright, I'll we'll target this one. Damn, I was hoping to kill him. Oh, nice, 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 nice. He was down here. This game is really similar to Wild Arms. Some eggplants, some tomatoes. Huh. No matter where we co come here, no matter when we come here, this place is always so tranquil. It's hard to imagine monsters running amok here. I certainly don't sense anything. Out of the ordinary, either. Anyway, let's go ask someone here to fill us out on the details. I wonder if Tia... <laughs> I wonder if Tia's home today. That's right, I went with falsetto for her just because it's, it's easy. <sighs> Wait, what? Oh, it's like a... Oh. Any any items? Any tomatoes? Any to, 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 tomatoes? No. All right. Anything in here? What's uh, in the book? Nothing in the book. Check it, check it, check it, check it. Oh, I got eggs! Hi, it's Joshua! Did, oh, <clears throat> did you come to play with me? I wish I had time, but I'm afraid today I'm here for work. Work! That's no fun if we can't play! Haha, <laughs> maybe later if there's time. The kids really like you, Joshua. <laughs> Joshua, you know? Hi, Sherry, how have you been? Do you know where your mom and dad are? They're not home right now. Gio's outside if you want to talk to her, though. Is that a her? Was that Tia? Alright, whatever. Maybe I just misread her. This looks... Mysteriously, this section right here, this bottom section of this house, mysteriously like my house. Anyway. Steal shit from your house. You got anything to steal? Huh? 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 There's a teddy bear up there. Can't steal a teddy bear. Is it not a polka doll? Help me get away from combat. Is that what polka dolls do? I don't think I've ever used a polka doll. Holy shit. I just had to walk around that barn. Whew. Hi, Tio! It's been a while, hasn't it? Estelle and Joshua, too? Did you guys come for a visit? Not exactly. We're here on bracer business. We heard you've been having trouble with the monsters. <clears throat> Estelle and Joshua explained that they are here to do their father's work because he's away. You finished all your training? That's wonderful news. Maybe you can help after all. So the really monsters giving you trouble? Regrettably, that's been the case the past several days now. Thanks to which I'm suffering a lack of sleep. Which means the monsters only come out at night? You're very perceptive, Joshua. It'd be better if you got all the details from my father, though. I imagine he should be back from delivering milk and vegetables any time now. That text option just gave you the ability to talk with my father. 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, anything in here? I can't see in the building, so I feel like there's got to be a secret. No secrets. Fine. So is he back in the house now? Yeah, there we go. Good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Purzel. How's it going? How's everyone getting on these days? Well, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua. What brings you to our neck of the woods? Did you come to see Tio? We're actually just chatting with her outside. To tell you the truth, we're here on an errand today from Bracer Guild. Estelle hands Mr. Prezel the guild referral, and Joshua explains that they are taking over for their father while he is away. Is that so? Well, don't you think this job's a little dangerous for just the two of you, Daniel? I agree. I'd feel terrible if one of you were to get hurt. Don't sweat it. We're bracers after all, and taking care of monsters is right up our alley. The guild has even authorized us to carry out this task. If you wouldn't mind leaving it to us, we'd be more than grateful. Um, well, all right then. Go ahead and have at it. Thank you very much, Mr. Purzel. Then could you tell us a little more about the monsters that have been wrecking your fields? Well, I haven't been able to get a clear look at one yet, but they seem to resemble something like a chubby cat. As far as I can tell, three or four appear at night and raid off fields, gnawing on anything they can get their grubby little paws on. And they don't seem to be threatening these animals, but they're extremely nimble. We tried many times to catch them over the course of the last several nights, but to no avail. Sounds a pretty strange bunch of creatures, he asked me. Since they only appear under the cover of night, we'll have to wait for it to get dark. Well, how about taking a load off till then? I assume you'll be joining us for dinner. You said the magic word! You bet I will. I'm a huge fan of your cooking, Miss Purcell. I can't wait. You sure know how to please a woman who spends a lot of time toiling in the kitchen. And for that, I'll whip you up something special that'll live up to your expectations. Alright. Some great food. And then, the steak out. Get the ham radio out. We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna metal gear solid this. Oh, that was delicious. Your mom's cooking is as good as ever, Tio. <laughs> That's because she gets excited to cook whenever we have guests over for meals. I guess I feel really bad for Joshua though. The little ones jumping all over him like that. <laughs> it's probably a good thing. Surprisingly enough, to kids tend to let you onto him a lot. If anything, I'm more blown away by the fact that the children are enjoying playing with such a stick in the mud. I think that's a bit over-exaggeration, don't you? He's definitely courteous, and maybe even a tad reserved, but if you get to know him, he's a really caring man. The fact that he's not self-conscious about it, too, gives him points in my book. You really think so? Think about it with those striking facial features, mysterious amber eyes, lush black hair. It's only natural he'd be the target for all the young girls. <gasps> Is Joshua really that popular? Are you blind, Estelle? Rumor has it more than just a few girls of us to go out with him. I hear he turned them all down, though. I, I had no idea. Joshua never said a word to me about it. I don't know how she even began to describe his secretive nature after hearing this, but how utterly cool of him not to confide in me. If I, you were a boy, I imagine it'd be a different story, but as a girl, I don't think that's something he'd want to talk to you about. And the fact that you haven't formed for yourself is beyond me. <gasps> Uh, Estelle, you're in there, aren't you? It's about time to do our rounds. Uh, all right, I'm coming. I'll be back after Joshua and I get the job done to you. I'd like to continue this conversation then, okay? Uh, all right, be careful out there, Estelle. You bet. That girl, she's either completely out of touch or just plain dense. And poor Joshua, he really has his work cut out for him. It seems as though the monsters always show up around this time. We better get outside and take a look around. What? What's going on, Estelle? I gotta ask Joshua. You don't happen to have any secrets you don't tell me about, do you? Uh, c come on now. Where are you coming up with this stuff? Since you came to live with us, we've always done everything together, right? 
Even though we've had our fair share of fights, they're all good memories for me now. And what I mean to say is I've come to think of you as family in every sense of the word. Is Estelle? So, if there's anything on your mind to talk about, I'm available to lend an ear. You know, about things like trouble with love, life, and whatnot. What are you trying to say? D nothing! I just wanted to, you know, that I'm here to listen if you need someone to talk to. That's, that's all. Uh, let's hurry up and get out of here so we can kick some monster butt. Okay. What kind of nonsense is Tio putting in that girl's head? Secrets, huh? Wow, it's really dark out here in the countryside. So, Joshua, how do you think we should go about making the rounds? Let's see. How about we start by checking around the house first and then move to the field, stables, and greenhouse? We should be able to cover the entire farm. All right, let's go. So, we're going to go throughout the area. It sounds pretty self explanatory. Should we go in the greenhouses? Huh? I should have figured monsters wouldn't bother coming in here. The glow of the ornament sure gives this place romantic ambience. <laughs> I feel like it was all worthwhile to set in foot in here. Uh, you're definitely a dance, Estelle. At least it's better than being dance like someone I know! Yeah, I'm sure everyone's gonna love my voice, Estelle. It's gonna be, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great when people listen to it. I'm sure it's not peaking at all. <laughs> Hopefully not. Good God. I'll have to find, like, custom settings for Estelle voice. Put some filters on that shit. Uh, all right, so we go out to the fields. Uh oh, do we find monsters? Oh, we teleported. It's awfully quiet. All I hear is the bugs chirping. It doesn't look as if they've shown up yet. I wonder if they're aware of our presence. Hey, Joshua, did anyone ever tell you the stories, kid? You know, the one about babies being born in a cabbage patch? There's another question entirely out of the blue. And no... I was told about an angel with silver wings who delivers them. Interesting. So the expression for where babies come from differs depending on the region, huh? Hmm. Hmm. How about we get back to work? Okay. I feel like he's subtly saying no. Maybe it's just my imagination. Oh, it turned the camera on me. Uh. Do-do-do-do-do. <gasps> they found monsters. No monsters here. All right, let's keep moving. Oh, do I have to go in a certain order? I thought it would—they would just be. Psst. <laughs> Rawr. Rawr. All right, all right. It's gonna work. Hey, get back here, you little furball! I can still sense its presence. It's staying put out on the farm for a moment. Well, good, because it's about to get caught! <laughs> Got him! I think it's time to teach this critter a lesson. Here's where our job really starts, so stay alert and don't let your guard down. Oh, it's a boss. Oh, I did not expect this. All right, all right, all right. What do we got? What do we got? So if I do an art, it's way down there. Okay, okay. Boom. Music for this shit so hype. Uh, let's test out some damage. All right, so her attack is not. Ooh, you ran away too. Playing dead. All right, interesting, interesting. Oh, I didn't know the other spells were actually slower than that one. Hmm. Airstrike, huh? All right, all right. Pretty damage. Not as bad as some of the monsters that were out there, though. I wonder why it's so low. Hmm. Oops, not right. Uh, let's see who's next. 
he is. Damn, 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 damn. Yeah, that seems like overkill. Alright, alright. Oh, he's blind. Well, that sucks. I wouldn't have uh, run him at him if, uh, if I'd known that was going to happen. Or do they heal while they play dead? Oh, I thought that would finish him. What a dick! Okay, cool. So blind was what, like three turns, something like that? Damn, that is a huge strength bonus. Alright, easy Let's enough. Easy enough. Yeah. Oh, damn. A flaky potato, a dirty carrot. Couldn't bother to wash it. No, no, no. My goodness. Man, I can't keep doing the fucking same voice to save my life. My goodness, the work of a bracer is something else. You kids done a fine job of rounding up these here critters. <laughs> there was nothing really. I just wanted to ask you though, now that they've been caught, what do you plan on doing with them? Um, so my choices are to, 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 to talk to not do it or to say to not exterminate them. Hmm. Do we really have to exterminate them? Of course we do, Estelle. That's the whole reason we came up here in the first place. To stomp necks. But, but, the mission of a bracer is to protect civilians and to uphold justice. Showing mercy to a bunch of monsters just absurd and completely illogical. I see what you're getting at, but... Mm, you know, some of the vegetables were damaged. Oh, <clears throat> we're damaged, so what do you think about letting it slide this time? You know... After taking a beating like that, I'm sure they learned their lesson. Tio, Miss Purzel. Uh, but in that case, I strongly suggest otherwise. I myself am against killing them too. They're just so cute. Whether or not it's a fact of matter is, we're all living beings. Just, just trying to survive on the safe land to some degree. I think we need to be mindful of these creatures living around us as we go about our daily lives. You know, you may disagree with me, Joshua. But would you mind sparing these critters just once? Ah, understood. Since this is coming from the ones who suffered the actual loss, I, I won't object to your request. I'm really sorry about this, Joshua. I know you two come over all the way up here, but I'll make sure to reinforce the fence and devise a way to prevent this from happening again. That's it. All right, you critters, you best carry your blessings. Hoo if we catch you right here again, you will be so lucky to scream! Well, I consider this matter closed. Tonight's been a long night, so how about we head back to house and hit the sack? You two are more than welcome to spend the night. Sounds good to me. I appreciate your hospitality. Oh, yeah. Man, I'm beat. Just the two of us. It's really late, so how about we hit the sack? Yeah. Um. Joshua, what's wrong? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I made the situation really awkward for everyone. What are you talking about happened outside? Don't sweat it. I guarantee nobody thought anything of it. Really, your judgment was the most sound of anyone's. 
No, it wasn't. It was just cold-hearted, and I talked about snapping necks, and different is all. Even now, I think we shouldn't have shown any mercy and simply put those creatures out of their misery. Unlike you and Tio, I don't feel any compassion. <laughs> it's at times like this I really begin to loathe myself. It's almost as if there's something wrong with me as a person. <laughs> Maybe that's just some part of my heart is broken or something. Joshua! Don't you dare say things like that about yourself! Uh, es Estelle? I've watched almost everything you've done for the past five years and I'm confident in saying I know your strengths and weaknesses better than anyone else. Probably even more than you yourself. Ugh! I won't allow you to disregard everything with a bunch of nonsense. I don't even want to hear you say you're broken again. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, that was foolish of me to say that. As long as you understand what I said, it's all that matters. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But believe it or not, I was happy to hear you admit how you felt. Why? You, your real problem, Joshua, is you try to keep your feelings locked up inside. Whenever you're troubled or worried, you just go around with this nonchalant look and try to fix everything by yourself. It's, it's a little upsetting for someone who's supposed to be your family. Oh. Uh, Still, I... Joshua, you're able to lay bare your own weaknesses today. You learn to trust in someone other than yourself. And for that, I'm happy. I don't know what your point is, but I'm amazed you can just stand there and say something as embarrassing as that. But a whole lot more where that came from. How about we just call it a night after all this endless running around? I'm ready to drop. All right, then. Have a good night, Estella. And thanks. You're welcome, Joshua. Sleep tight. All right. Thank you both. You did us a good service. Once again, I apologize for things not turning out the way they should have. And don't worry about it anymore. We are able to learn a lot from this experience ourselves. If anything else we can help you with in the future, please let it, the Bracers Guild know. That'll definitely be the first place we contact. Uh, come and visit again when you're free, okay? We'd love to have you over the night again when things are convenient for you. I'll treat you some of my best cooking next time you come. Thanks for the invitation, T.O. Mrs. Purzel. We'll definitely be back to take you up on that when our workload settles down. Alright, how about we head back to the guild? After we report this one, we can start in the next. Sounds like a plan. On to the next one. All right, I think I'm going to end it there. Um, no, I said I'm going to end it there, bug. Sorry, go back. So <laughs> I'm going to end it here. Um, uh, so I'm trying this more more consistently now so we don't have this gigantic split of time. Uh, like in this episode, literally in the, in the middle of this episode. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed. And until next time.